Street Face Subway. This time, it's personal. Well, actually, I don't know. Oh, what, is a click and point adventure game now? We went back in time. Dear sir, having heard of your petition as a proficient investigator, I decided to write this message. Uh, to the condition I'm in anomalies, you appear to be the person with the broadest knowledge concerning these strange events, so I believe my trust in you is not misplaced. The truth is I may have come to face face with whatever it is you are pursuing. You see, I am a survivor of the incident in the subway that the papers wrote about. Though I did not share my story with anyone in the fear of being marked as insane. It all seemed to start once the subway car made a sudden stop for an unknown reason over the course of an hour or two. It looked like his passengers disappeared one by one until no one was left. So I got to I got from my seat and began to search ground for any signs of life, all while experiencing a growing headache. Flashback. Damn, this headache is killing me. Well, what is really killing me about you is you look like a Legend of Crystal character, so... Off to a good start. Is that the tail? Oh no, that's the... chair. I only have a few dollars on me, hope it's enough to be, uh, buy me some medicine. Myself. What, what do I think about myself? N nothing, I don't think anything. Medicine, medicine on a train, where would you... Ew. Deposition experiment. <laughs> you mean abrupt ending the game. You're gonna buy medicine on a train? This door leads to the next car, I can see two men inside. We're in Sweden, right? Where men respect women, right? Businessman. Hello, sir. Oh, hi there. So I'm not alone in here after all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if there's no text, it means it's me. No, no, indeed. There's me and the guy over there, but that's all the company you got. You don't look too well. <sighs> oh, you've got keen eyes. I have a bloody rotten headache, just like everyone else apparently in this train. It's all, if only that medicine I just took could kick in a bit faster. Same here. Could I have some of that medicine too, please? So I'm still feeling a bit down, why don't you get something for me in return first? Sorry, we're not in Sweden, we're in America. We're still based upon the barter system. A cigarette might help me relax. Oh, and I forgot my own lighter, crap. Uh, do you know what happened? Oh, no idea, I was just taking the subway home and somehow... and hope to get myself more smokes. <laughs> a cough! Then the power went out, car stopped moving, gradually people walked out. Though I don't remember seeing them leave the vehicle at all, the doors don't seem to open either. People left the subway? They just went out in that pitch darkness? That's what it looked like to me too. Good, so I'm not crazy. Ever since I woke up, I knew today was going to be great. Not that today wasn't going to be great. Well, I should get going, maybe I can find a way out. Good luck with that. Well, that's an unfortunate place to stop walking. <laughs> Look at my ankles, are we? Excuse me, can I talk to you? Permission? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have a voice now, don't you? You sure you can. Ah, uh, yes, I just want to ask what's still happening here. <coughs> cough, cough, nothing. I'll sleep right here, then we're working by the guy in the studio there. Ask if I had any cigarettes on me, poof. No, nobody else was sitting here anymore. Right, that still doesn't clarify the situation. Slowly, I feel getting sick to dizzy as the hours pass. Breathing is as easy as stupid tea. <laughs> Sorry, slurring my words here. I always have to read a lot in horror games. You look ill. Better visit the doctor soon. I mean, depends. We have free healthcare? <coughs> nope. Uh, cough. We can't afford that. Or just purchase some medicine over the counter. Or I can just find some. Yeah, I won't believe what people leave lying around here. Who are you? Are you from around this part? You can't ask a poor man where he's from. Yeah, I saw your life here. Eh, yeah, this happened before. Not quite the safest of towns to be lying around. No, true, true. Anyways, I got this is tricky, but inside the subway car is still better than the outside. <laughs> On top of that cough cough, my mom always used to warn me of something in particular. Now I got towards the light at the end of the tunnel. What? Don't know what that exactly. But there's been rumors. I have to go now. No problem, I've got plenty of time left. I'd rather not get off the subway and walk around the tunnel. That's the exit. So what do I think about myself? Nothing. Which means I think too highly of myself again. Oh no, the titular chain. <laughs> okay, stop with the garbage. It's garbage day. 
Looks like someone threw an empty pack of cigarettes in there, not realizing there was still one left. And now in the lighter? Can't go here. I don't see anybody in the next car, there's no point in going through there. Maybe go towards the driver and ask a question or two, Samantha? I mean, I assume you're a Samantha, right? What, anything about the review? No. If I was a developer, I'd be like... <laughs> Click on this, 9 out of 10 game, I loved it. 9 out of 10 game, loved it. Game of the year. Okay, what can I do without the lighter? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, see, why don't you speak to me? Epic graphic, epic graphics quality for a point and click. Okay, so I give you money, right? That's what hope was like, money. Here, take some of this money. Use it well once you get out of here. <coughs> oh, why thank you a bunch, dear. That's quite a lot, really. Yeah, you take this light here. You'll need it when it gets dark. When it gets dark, how do you know it's gonna get dark? Is that cigarette in Chinese? Where are we? I thought we were in Sweden or, or Norway or some culturally appropriate country. Here. Businessman. I brought a cigarette. Ugh, problem is I forgot my lighter. Do you have one? All of this just for some medicine. The barter economies. Indeed. Oh, I know where we are in Canada. That explains the Chinese cigarettes. And that also explains the value of food and medicine are so much higher than cigarettes now. It's, it's post-2023 inflation. Here you go. Thank you very much. Here's your reward. Much appreciated. Ease on self-medicine. Those are just some pills. Make sure they're all the same, Samantha. I should head to the previous car so I can take the meds and rest a bit. <laughs> okay. Even she doesn't trust the two men here, she, she's gonna take the pills in the car by herself. Back in the car I took the meds, hoping they would get rid of the awful headache. I took some time to rest my eyes. And also, I don't know how I, I swallowed the pills without any water, I guess it's bite downs. It only felt like five minutes had passed when I was woken by a loud mechanical sound. When I looked, the subway lights had turned off. I sat there in the dark for just a second before I read it, heard it. It sounded like a bird call. I could barely hear that. It sounded like a bird call, instant followed by some screams. Concerned that something might be wrong with the two men, I decided to get up and take a peek in the next car. With the lights out, I had to find another way to see in the darkness. You think too highly of yourself. Good thing I got this lighter. That sounds like a Zippo lighter. When I looked in the next car, I couldn't believe what I saw. There was a third person in the car, brutally murdering both of them with what I could make out was a pickaxe. But more haunting, however, was the person didn't look quite human. He appeared to be tower of the two men and didn't seem to have a head. I'm your doom! It was like a metal contraption with a bright light shining inside. I was in shock. Seeing how the two men were thrown around the car and being killed by this monster. Oh, he really went for it, huh? He opened up his heart. So I noticed the thing I slowly started to move towards the car I was in. I knew I had to hide fast. Hide? Yeah, hide? Not having my choice, I knelt down and pressed myself under one of the benches tightly and waited, even though there was plenty of space. A few seconds passed before I saw the monster appeared out of nowhere, but not walked in. Do you think the shadow is gonna pass by? Oh no. Oh, thank you for the light. I held my breath, trying to make any noise, but each second it became more of a challenge. You see, if you breathe softly, very lightly, you don't need to struggle that. I don't know why this horror trope exists where people try to hold their breath. Might have got worse. Just the sound of a bird kept piercing through my ear. Cheap! Shortly after, I started to have difficulty breathing, and I felt I was going to vomit. It almost felt like I was getting poisoned, yet I did not smell or see any smoke, just the heavy boots and the pickaxe the killer was holding. I felt like I couldn't last any longer. But I did. He knows I'm here, right? He's just he's just toying with me. Soon the monster finally walked off and suddenly vanished from the car. As soon as I left it, cough cough, the sickness went away, and I felt I could get up again. 
With some effort, I was able to get onto my feet. I tried to run, but I felt dizzy. My head kept piercing. I still had trouble breathing. If I attempted to run, I'd truly collapse, but I refused to just stand around and let that thing take me, and I planned to get off that subway. I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to go in that car, but I had no alternatives. Why are you exactly thinking in big brains? I can't believe I'm doing this, but I might have something actually useful. Damn, there's nothing on him. What do you mean, damn, there is nothing on him? Also, there was not a plan to search him. I can't believe I'm doing this. Great, he has a pocket knife. What, I can defend myself? Can I hide? No. What, I use this here? Can't use this item here. Damn, the die handle is stuck, I can't get to budge. I need to find something strong to break the handle with. Something strong? Like a hand? No, it won't lend me a hand. Ah! Using the knife, I was able to break the panel off and get the extinguisher. Oh, I thought you were gonna unscrew it. Break the glass? That is one of the default Unreal sound effects. With such a strength, I pressed the extinguisher against the door repeated a few times before the handle finally came loose. I opened the door, jumped off the subway onto the tunnel ground and I moved as quickly as possible to get out of there. As if a nightmare is caught with me, the toxic air made my head and legs go numb until I nearly collapsed. Yet at that moment, he could have his way with me. His attention was drawn somewhere else when the sound came from deep within the tunnel. The sound of a bird. Oh no, it's that two cage. It's cage woman. Cage. Cage man and cage woman. The epic showdown. Do you think there's just another cage face just, you know, power running down the train tracks to face? It's like Godzilla and King Kong let them fight. Or maybe it's his arch nemesis. A human man. Human face. And so ends my story. He just stood me there for a while as if listening intently to the bird. I took my chance to run as he walked away, drawn to the sound. I only had these specific moments to document. What they mean is a mystery to me. I seriously hope this can be at least of a help. I'm afraid there cannot be any further assistance. Good luck in your work. It always is the phone, huh? Okay, you can keep on ringing. I'm gonna reread now. What, they took away my TV? Is that why I had to read this time? They, they transcribed it because it took away my TV? Oh, hey man. Got any news for me today? Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you seriously telling me you got the cold case documents? <laughs> every, every investigator's dream getting the cold case documents. The CCD. It includes a VHS tape. Okay. Oh, what? This game came first? No, no, no. I can't wait till morning. Bring it over right away. Well, actually, I was excited because I finally got the TV. This game was developed in less than two weeks in Adventure Game Jam. What they actually mean is they took their sweet ass time going to school, having friends, loving their family, and then making the game like in one day. <laughs> um, okay. Average Phoenix, you needed two writers for this game? Two assistant writers? Oh no! Cage face. He caged it up. So, did I get like the second ending? First ending? I'm gonna guess there's only one ending for this. It's very on rails. What, I click you on the eyeball? You know, Alex, if I ever find you, the game was about a gigabyte. The 2D game was a gigabyte. Uh, the 2D game was a gigabyte. Are you sure about this? Mm -hmm. Are you sure, Alex? Huh? Desk. Subway cart. Cigarette package? Is that Balboro? Oh, look at all the games they made. I think this might have been earlier, although I'm not sure. Ending, beginning. Yeah, there's only one. Horror shot. Horror shot. Eight horror shots. Oh no, the titular. Meds. Oh yeah, the pills that she doesn't even know what they do. Um, I'd like to imagine the businessman was just, you know, trying to hide drugs. Oh, Rosers. Or, you know, you could just not type anything. Uh, where was man? Oh, they're businessman. Well, actually, homeless man. He's called businessman. Well, actually, homeless man is homeless man. 
<laughs> Homeless man as far as the eye can see. Woman. It's just called woman. That's our titular heroine, woman. Woman, woman. A uh, girl woman? Female woman? Woman? Just woman. Cage face, where's cage face? Oh, the titular jade face. Imperi Romanis, human. What? What racial slurs do you think the bird shouts at people? Just is about to kill a human. He's like, Imperi Romanis, bitch. Okay, well, G2G uh, game. Um, although I have to say, I'm not exactly sure why you're one gigabyte. This guy is just like his anime, bleeding from his nose. His divine gravity to bleed out of his nose for his... <laughs> Very perplexed, man. Sorry, I have to do this so you know when I'm editing the video, I can get like a screenshot of it for my thumbnails. See, I'm very high efficiency. Uh, dead man, very funny. Uh, dead man, very funny. What, there's not high resolution of you? Like all by yourself? Oh no, only, only the homeless man has it. How come? Oh, uh, okay. Well, g 2 thank you so much. Although I'm not sure why the game is that big, but thank you so much, Alexo, for uh, Kate's face.